Hi, I'm Trevor. Have you guys ever noticed how a lot of things in life are very unpredictable? Who's going to win the next game? Is it going to rain today? What will I have for lunch? But robots, on the other hand, are usually fairly predictable. Today we're going to learn how to make them not quite so predictable. Alright, so now we're going to learn how to add some randomness to our programs. So a lot of times when you're programming, you want your robot to do the exact same things every time through, so that way it's always consistent. But there are those certain cases in which you want your robot to do things a little bit randomly. So we're going to go ahead and learn how we can do that, so that way if you're ever in one of those situations, you're able to do it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to save our random number into a variable. So if you haven't learned variables before, we have another video that can explain those for you, so that way um, it'll make a bit more sense. So we're going to create a variable named wait time. Now the idea of this is, let's say you want to have your robot wait for a little while, and you want it to wait between 5 and 20 seconds, um, but you want it to wait a random amount of time. So to do that, we're going to use this code right here, and it'll pick a random number between 5 and 20, and then it'll save it into wait time, and then when we're at the point where we want to wait, we can just read wait time and figure out how long. Um, so the random command, what it does is it takes a number for the smallest and then a number for the biggest and it'll pick a number in between there and what it actually does is the number five can be picked here so whatever the lowest is can be picked but the highest one cannot be so this actually picks numbers between five and nineteen and anything in between um, so we can use this it'll pick one of those numbers save it and use it let's say we had another situation um, in which we want to pick between seven different choices so since we don't actually pick the last one, if we do 0 to 7, we'll get 7 different choices. Um, and then if we do this along with like some if statements, we can check to see which choice was selected and do the according thing. But another way we can do this, rather than having to specify the 0 there, what we can do is instead just do one number. If we just do that one number, what it does is it sets the smallest number to 0. And so this line right here and this one right here both do the exact same thing. It'll pick a number between 0 and 7. Um, and then again, we can use this and we do something where, you know, like if statements and we can figure out which choice that we want to do. Um, so now you guys know how you can use random and randomness in your programs. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned a lot about how to make your robot do random things. If you guys have any more questions, just leave a comment down below and we'll try to get back to you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.